Hey, John Morrison here, and I wanted to put a really, really quick video together today. This is not going to be very, very long, but I did want to address a question that was asked me. How do you answer the question, what do you do for a living? Uh, in a previous blog post, I talked to you about three questions that you could ask uh, that would help you guide the conversation down the direction that you want it to go. And here, here are those three in recap. Number one, what do you do for a living? What does that entail? And do you enjoy it? Do you like it? And when you're asking those questions, you know, it's, it's just normal that somebody that's social, uh, that's wanting to socialize with you, they might ask you what you do for a living. And I had somebody ask me, well, what do you say? And I, I told them this formula that I utilize, and uh, I want to share it with you today on today's video. So here's the formula. I show blank how to blank so they can blank, or I help blank to blank so that they can blank. And you're just going to simply fill in those blanks. And so I'll give you an example. Um, you know, I show people how to make a leveraged residual income from home so that they can enjoy life as it was intended to be enjoyed without having to clock in and, and work all the time. And then I re immediately deflect it back by asking them another question like, how long have you been working at your job? All right, that kind of thing. And um, when you do that, you're going to find people are going to lean in and they're going to be a lot more receptive and, and intrigued and curious about what you do. And your only goal is to book the appointment, not do a business presentation. I cannot emphasize that enough. OK, and so it could be anything. You might be talking to a, a single mom or a stay at home mom or a mom that would love to stay at home. And you could simply insert in those blanks. I show uh, new parents, people that have just had their, uh, their, their, their child, how to stay home and raise that child without having to put them in daycare so that they can enjoy them and raise them the way they want to raise them without money being an issue. I show realtors how to make a leveraged residual income on the side of their re regular real estate income so that they don't have to be handcuffed and tied to that real estate business all of the time. You know, I show people how to make a leveraged residual income on the side of what they currently do. And when your part-time income exceeds your full-time income, you got a fun problem to have. Do you know anybody that would like to make a leveraged residual income? That's another deflection question that I use a lot after asking or, or utilizing that formula. Do you know anybody that would like to take advantage of that information? And they'll typically go, yeah, me. How can you do that? How, how does that work? Well, I can't show it to you right now. I don't, now's not the time. But I would love to buy you a cup of coffee and share with you what I've got and how it works. You know, it may not be for you. I don't know. Uh, you know, but, you know, it's, it's 15 minutes and coffee's on me. Do you have your calendar handy? That's a question. And so I guarantee you, if you'll imp implement this formula, I help blank to blank so they can blank, or I show blank how to blank so they can blank, and then book the appointments, and you implement this into your business, I guarantee you, you're going you're gonna to see immediate results, and you're going to re start recruiting more and more people. They're just going to naturally lean forward and want to know more about what you have to offer. So feel free to comment, share, like, uh, share this with your teams and organizations. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me and ask me some questions that I can uh, address in future episodes. Uh, I guarantee you go implement this, take action, and, and you'll see immediate results. And with that being said, have a great day, and we will see you at the bank.